Amy and Anna for having me and um, to all the fine readers and friends. Um, I usually have a very, very hard time reading, A, because I don't do it very often, because it fills me up with terror, and B, because I tend to think of writing so much as on the written page. Um, so I tend to try to read series, but now I'm sick of doing that, so I'm going to try something else. Um, and I'm not sure how these poems chime together, but some sort of tuning fork in my head said so that they did. Um, the first poem does need a note. I'd written, a, in my book, I'd written a series of poems for pictures, um, and later wanted to add a coda. So this poem is um, a coda for Doc Ellis. And Doc Ellis <laughs> for the Pittsburgh Pirates from 65, 67 to 75. Um, often with curlers in his hair, and he threw no hitter while tripping on acid. <laughs> so this is a coda for Doc Ellis. Said what you dark grew back. Larkspur, bone spur. I can hear my heart through the bed springs. What imperfections of light in the orchard of your eyes. What filaments seems tenuous and thorn. Anthem. Marsh under snow, the sea spits glass, salt white in the glare, a battleship cemented to the harbor floor, rust red at the waterline. We do not have. Whose face in the spokes of light? It is a great comfort because you are not yet sleeping when the cat reaches out to touch your face. Sorry, I am not communicating well. Fainting is a kind of swooning, sodden with, etc., etc. Sudden and clearly, the night sky, the sea, spits stars. Radio Sun. If I could pair and drought the ever-expanding of winter, to feel whole against the breath-shattered night sparking. We've brokered this piece before. Locate yourself in the path of abundance. Come alarmist, cannon fodder, tassel in your dry corner. Sea level. One. Socket violence, bludgeon to begin. Dry leaves rattle in the wind's eddy, perfect October sprawls from horizon to horizon, from which the hints of anxiety broke. I will burn all of my shirts. You begin to prose. Disloyal quiet is misread when twilight its own fortune. Two, morning comes in its big white hearse, then sudden and sour, salt glass and respite, an offer or regret. Together, we unspool the cassette with our fingers on the bed and sit in that shiny black sound. Away to windfall. A way to windfall. Try to mean differently and not throw up. Sun spindles to its last in the rusting hulk of sky. Stars sick as knives. We are bound together by their vague threats, kindnesses, teeth like sleeping dogs. For I pistol in heat is summer sleep. Bludgeon and unspool, thundercloth like bad weather, portent whistles up. And finally, All Saints, which is a little bit serial, so I guess I will. <laughs> All Saints, one, I can't stop thinking of the nothing I want. Five past eleven on a Monday, which is also awful. Like sun 
through the smoke light, or a phantom limb, her hair a kind of feathers. Visibly shaken, heat scales in advent of August, more rope. Or we can valentine, bask me in your light of shipwreck, stipple and shell and shall. I mean, how often can one remember one's posture? Two. St. Brendan, you heart star, you gray-green spire, I can't stop thinking of the nothing I want to do. This is how things appear in the celebration of the bicentennial and the rigging over Rose Wharf. I don't want to seem intrepid, sailor. We are friendless, one and all. O oh, privateer, whistling in the courtyard, birds, sunflowers, and candles. Three. Like sun through the smoke light, the game called on account of fog, children with popsicle hands waving in the fog horns, the body strung vibrant with rigging, daisy star, arc on a hilltop, Spanish lights in suburban backyards, bundle and squirm, we came with, with cacophony, the light of shipwreck. Four. The incoming tide, like a bowl of nickels. We struggle and chime. St. Andrew, you gray-green spire. Gloucester Harbor, splinter through the courtyard gates. Sunflowers, candles. Five. Vigorous and charming, the baseball hats and commemorative coins of the bicentennial. The rotting hulls of the last tall ships. Daisy star, pulled by the plague of storms and fog lights, sinking fast amongst calls for more rope. I am some sad potatoes, which is also awful. <laughs> it is Monday, the same Monday or another Monday come around, and the petulant lights of the church top worn off small planes like a children's book lighthouse. Thank you all very much. I want to film you all <laughs> uh, because I'm so happy these wonderful readers are here tonight, but also I'm looking at the audience and there's like, well, now it's recording whoever, whichever poor person went to the bathroom. <laughs>